So are you filming? You're on. I'm really embarrassed. This, <laughs> this, this is Gail Wetzler, Wetzler from California. Which where? California? What's the uh, city? Newport Beach. Newport Beach. Perfect. Gail is, is one of the gurus, if not the guru, right? I, I, I just, just take a vote here. Yes. This guru. is um, <laughs> Bridget from Wrigley Field, Chicago. Yeah. This Brandy is Brandy Earth. from Chicago. Tracy Campbell from, from Indiana. Indiana. And these are all the, all the finest physical therapists in the entire universe. And, and they're all paying allegiance to, the, to Queen Gail here. Just, just some ideas from based on what okay. you said. One is that when you place your hand on the body, you're going to have um, a connection right. somewhere. So there's going to be communication that happens. Uh -huh. We're trying to help determine the part of that communication. Is it neurological? Is it vascular? Is it fascial? Is it um, endocrine system? What What is it that might be that connection? And then what level is it on to help determine what do I help need to do to help correct this if a communication has um, had a barrier in it? So the latest studies in regards to fascia is out of Robert Schleit and Tom Finley and Tom Myers and Leon Chato and all this research that they've done over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years in regards as to what's updated as they look at the doctor. So when you said that in regards to the TMJ and the involvement with that patient and all over, and you had a question as to what is the mechanism possibly for what is creating the communication between them. In all the fashion studies, and this is, I want to give tribute to Antonio Stecco and Carlos Stecco, because what that is, is that there is, just like the proprioceptive receptors right. in our body, I'm in alignment, I'm not in alignment. In the mechanical receptors, the Cassini receptors, baro receptors, they have found by microscopy that when the fascia goes into a certain alignment, right. then that increases the communication. Is it through the autonomic system? Is it through the fascial system? Is it up through the central? But when actually the fascia itself gets into a certain alignment, that opens the door for the communication and more answers to come back. So in other words, the, the, the nervous system, the, the ability of the nervous system to function is, a, is partly a function of, of the tension or the alignment of the fascial system in which the nerves are right. Uh, running. Right. And when uh, the Steckos did this research, it was more on the, the lowest layer of the dermis, so that's where the hyaluronic acid is, and when it meets the epimyosin. Uh -huh. And when that gets into a 78 degree alignment, Wow. That's specific, yes, they know. Very wow. Specific alignment, then hydration occurs back. So the gags are responding. Wow. Yes. So they've done this biochemically as well. Yes. So that, that does. So that's that's the latest as far as research. So I'm looking up on as far as manual therapy and the science behind manual therapy. And it definitely has gone back to the fact that when this aligns, yeah. you know, they're putting the science behind it, hyaluronic right. acid, and right. what the connective tissue responses are. Right. And then at 78 degrees, but the, you know, a little bit of history is, gosh, when we know when we take, like him, this gentleman you're talking about spending three hours, four hours. Yeah. The plasticity respect is to what level I might be on, and does it respond to something that has to take a very long time? Oh, yeah, yeah. To get there, uh, a short time. A short and time we're dealing with fascia, which is a very fiber. relatively inelastic tissue, so right. you have to spend a long time stretching it out. You can't so expect you to possibly get to the 78 degree, degree alignment. So I just wanted to share. Bing, just a minute. Yeah. See the light going on my head there? Bing! <laughs> light bulb! Light bulb! <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. That's fantastic. And um, Antonio, you mentioned? Uh, Antonio Stecco, S-C-E-C-C. -C. And where is he? Italy. Italy, um, okay. It's by Venice, but I can't. I somewhere in Venice, exactly. somewhere in Italy. see the name of the city that they live in. Okay. I have to look it up. So have you, have you done, like, research of your, I mean, you, 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 you're entirely clinical research. You, you're not taking you know, whatever, tissues in, in, in lab and manipulating and showing. Not that I don't want to. I actually wanted to start something at UCI at the Integrative Center that I, um, I also work in. Uh -huh. But I'm not a PhD at this point. I'm just getting my doctor. So we had to have a team, uh -huh. and there was no one that would lead it because what we were going to do is take rats, again also, those that work in biophysics and et cetera. But they just didn't have a leader, so we had to 
and we'll let that fail. But we were going to take and work with the fascist system in uh -huh. Iraq wow. on what we do, but it hasn't occurred yet. Wow. It's a thought. Okay. It's a thought. So the research that we have done is mostly clinical, and it's tied in uteral sacral ligament. We've done it on the kidney. And the kidney? On the kidney and its ability for mobilization and affect the nerves that are behind it. Wow. They did the kidney and the brain. I did, you did, did you see it in my talk? But I wasn't, I wasn't here yesterday. So I did it on the spec scan and the effect of how one touches the body, how it touches the brain, and what it did on the spec scan as a result of that. So we've done a few things, but certainly open to go for more. Wow, yeah. wow. And, and, and in terms of, you know, we, I, I'll get your permission to put this on the, on the net, but in terms of patients that have, yeah, you're going to be famous. <laughs> it's true. <Yes>. famous. <laughs> In I have I have no shame here. You know? <laughs> I have none. In terms of patients like we're talking about here, chronic pelvic pain, patients that have adhesions, patients that have all these multiple organ problems, bladder, you, you see a lot of these patients. Um, you think you can help a hundred percent of them, you can help fifty percent of them, or it's a question you can you, it's a question of time. You can help a hundred percent of them to 50% of the degree, but it takes a year or, or, or what, what it sort certainly of... certainly takes time because when you look at the body and you want to get a clear message from the body, uh -huh. uh, can you discern that it's from a physical or organic structure? Right, right. And then what is it potentially how much emotion? Right. Or cognitive might be involved with that. So as you're working with somebody, you have all these possibilities to help them discover for right. the facilitator. Uh -huh. So how and when and how that is evolved for these barriers to um, kind of dissolve away, if you well, will, that then you discover how much emotion might have been the holding capacity. I see. Or something like that. Or the cognitive of the pressure of the parents. I have to have good grades and I have to do it this way. So there's a cognitive sometimes pressure that puts on that causes right. attention. So as the person is with us and we evolve and things start to um, come forth or unwind about that, then what is the next level? What is the next level? So we have the physicality of the level to help with the precision to open the door to find the primary driver right. of what that might be. And then we have to give it to time to, have to, 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 to work. To work structurally or emotionally, whatever the level is. And so, do, do you get mainly referrals directly from patients or, or to, to doctors like gynecologists or urologists or other people? Uh, all, all, everything? All people. I, mean, I think my biggest um, referral. Yeah, our busiest referral source is other therapists that have been having difficulty okay. with some of their the, most difficult patients. And they'll send them to so you. They come, okay. they come in, like grannies come in, and we work with difficult people ah, okay. and we share All right. this, the potential of how to do that. And also doctors and send them. Of course, Thank people you. live in my area. The doctors and the PTs. All right. Thank you, Gail. Oh, you're, really You're famous. <laughs>